Today we will create a Christmas tree program in Java and we will use the nested loop concept. So before jump to this program, first you have to complete last three nested loop examples. Because there I have already explained how to create a nested loop, what is nested loop, what is the flowchart concept of nested loop and how they work. But today we will not explain any type of flowchart for this program. We will just take some examples and then jump to our program in Eclipse. So if you check these examples, so here actually we have to print some star in multiple line and that line definitely will be dynamic, will be inputted by user. Now if we check the steps, then you can see this is our first step where we have to identify what exactly we have to print. Now I have just explained four lines for your simplicity. So this is line number one, two, three, four. And in first line, we have to print one star, second line, three star, third line, five star, and in fourth line, seven star. But you can increase this line number by taking a help of scanner class or buffer reader class with a variable. And under this variable, we can collect the exact line that user want to print but let's take only for this four line to our for understanding now if you check here so definitely we have to create some for loop to iterate each line right so this is or this should be our main for loop okay then if you check step 3 now you can see here in line number 1 we are actually printing single star and in line number 2 3 star and line number 3 5 star so if you try to find out the clue then you can get the line number one we are actually printing one that is nothing but our line number that is basically one into two minus one so if i check line number one that is basically one then one into two that is equal to two minus one that is nothing but one now if you go to the second line that's mean line number is two so two into 2 that is equal to 4 minus 1 that is nothing but 3 similarly if we take third line so line number is 3 so 3 into 2 is 6 then minus 1 that is 5 so these are basically my 5 star so in previous step we basically use the main for loop and under that we have to create a nested for loop where condition should be this line number into 2 minus 1 so that we can get exact count of star in each line right now i have given this as a condition too because this should be our second nested for loop so this example is bit tricky because here we are not going to use a single nested for loop we are going to use two inside loop or two for loop inside a main loop okay then if i go for the step four then here you can see in each line we are also maintaining some space right so uh, in our first line our star should print here so we need one two three space in second line our star should print from here so that's mean we need to give two space in third line we need one space and in fourth line no space so how we can do that one so if you find out the clue again then this is our condition number one so if you check total line so user enter a value four that is basically our total line and minus line number so if i take line number one so total line is four minus one that's mean three so we need three space in line number one if I take line number two, so you can see again total count of line is four minus line number that is basically two. So four minus two that is basically two and we need two space. Now in line number three, my total line is four and line number is three. That's mean four minus three is nothing but one. And similarly in fourth line, line number is four and total line also 4 so 4 minus 4 that is basically 0 so there is no space so this way or using these conditions one we can easily find out how many space we have to print so these are basically my two conditions for two nested for loop so if i wrap up again so first step we basically check what is our printing statement in second step this is nothing but our main for loop then under that we need two for loop for conditions one this will print the space in each line 
and for second conditions or second nested loop that will basically print the number of star in each line so if we take these considerations and try to execute that one in eclipse then how it will be works let's do that now open your eclipse id i have already opened and double nested loop is my class that is under com.demo.nested loop package and this is my main method now if i double click here so you can see here that i have write some n variable and a scanner class and under this n variable i am trying to collect how many line user want to print for this Christmas tree so this is i have done only to you know save our time we will only concentrate on the logic that is basically our main for loop and two nested for loop okay so if i go to this ppt again so you can see here this is my main for loop where we have to iterate number of line right so create a for loop first so if i create my for loop that is basically my main for loop so for then i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n and i plus plus and my for loop start here and end here so this is my main for loop okay now under that we have to create two nested for loop why one to print the space and one to print the star now let's create the first for loop to print the space now this is my first nested loop where my loop start here and end here now if you check this condition i have created a first j variable with one initial value and condition is j less than equal to n minus i so if you check the skin again so my condition is total line minus line number so total line is nothing but our n and minus i i is basically each time we get the line number line one two three four something like this so here what we have to print so we actually use this condition to print the space right so how you can print the space so just type system dot out dot print and under that double quote and here you have to use a single space and then terminate it using semicolon every time you have to use control s now you can see here each time as per the first conditions we are trying to create the space okay and wh what type of space we will get that is basically based on this so if you check here i start from one then n minus i so for first line n is basically four total number minus one that's mean three so three time my nested for loops the first nested for loop will iterate and it will create three space i am not using any print ln because each space i need just one after another right so i am just simply using print and each print will give me a space now what will be our next nested loop so that will be our second conditions where we have to print the star so let's do that now this is my second nested loop and my loop start here then we can end it here now you can see here again i have created another variable int m i initialize it with one now m less than equal to i into 2 minus 1 what is this i basically line number into 2 minus 1 that is nothing but our second conditions line number that is basically i then into 2 minus 1 so i use the same thing i into 2 minus 1 here what we have to print we have to print the star so i have created a system dot out dot print statement with star as a value so here again you can see i am not using any print ln here i am using print because if you check here in our second line or third line we need each star one after another right now think about that once our nested for loop both these two nested for loop is done now each time we have to go for the next line that's mean once our two nested loop operation is done we have to create a new line and we can use that system dot out dot print ln just outside of the second nested loop right so let's do that now you can see here my first nested loop start here and end here then my second nested loop start here and end here and just after that we have to create a system dot out dot print ln show that it will go for the next line for the next line for the next line okay so now my program is ready just save it using control s so you can see here that this is my main loop 
and under that I have created two nested loop one is for creating space and second one is for creating the exact number of star okay now if I save it and double click here now let's check the same example that is basically for four line it is coming properly or not so if I run it again here I click on this button and it asks me how many uh, line you have to enter so let's say I enter the same thing for so if I enter here so you can see now it is giving me the star count just like this first one then three then five then seven check here so first one then three then five then seven now let's make it more vigor so that we can get a christmas tree flavors let's say enter it for 10 so if i make it here so you can see our christmas tree is look like this now if i run it again and make it more vigor number let's say 20 then you can see our christmas tree is look like this so this way you can create a christmas tree program in java just you have to remember that you need two nested loop one to calculate the space count and one to calculate for the star and in each nested loop we are actually printing the number of space and number of star based on the conditions i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching Please do subscribe, click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel.